Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's quick fire video. My name is Stefan Sorrell. I'm Chief of Research at Kaleido Intelligence. And, um, you know, at the moment, one of the things we're looking quite closely into is security within IoT. Uh, and with that in mind, I'm excited to welcome you all to uh, today's quick preview of a webinar that we have coming up uh, in October, where we'll be diving into IoT security and how enterprises uh, can protect their connected operations at scale. And as part of this, I'm delighted to welcome with me today, Paul Healy uh, from Aries. So Paul, uh, welcome. Thanks, Stefan. Yes, uh, Paul Healy, VP of Security at Aries, based in our London office. Well, it's fantastic to have you here, but uh, this is a quick fire video, so let's dive straight into uh, the questions. I mean, uh, let's say, first of all, you know, IoT security has it's been a long it's, it's been a topic of discussion for a long time, for many years now. Um, but we're talking about it today. What makes it more important today than ever before? Yeah, I think IoT security is more important than ever. I think when you look at the rise in the number of cellular connected IoT devices, which is expected to reach about 5 billion by the end of this year, this introduces billions of potential entry points into corporate systems. You know, we're seeing a dramatic rise in the number of corporate cyber attacks, and they're oftentimes exploiting vulnerabilities either in device configurations or also in the operating system within the device. And if you look at the threats themselves, they're becoming more sophisticated and they're not just being perpetrated by you know, your hobbyist hackers sat at home. These are often nation state sponsored cyber criminals operating on an industrial scale. So you know, when we look at the risks that organizations are being exposed to, it's not just stealing of data, Oftentimes, these organizations are, are looking more broadly at disrupting infrastructure like critical infrastructure, such as you know, power grids, hospitals and so on. And they're being exposed to thousands of attacks per week. You know, the recent reporting in the US and in Europe suggests that, you know, there's potentially up to a couple of thousand attacks happening each week. So this is leading to a dramatic rise in cybersecurity regulation globally, which more importantly now affects you know the directors of these organizations the companies themselves and even their supply chain so in our hyper connected world iot security is more important than ever it's no longer just an it issue this is a corporate resilience and public safety issue okay fantastic so, i mean um you know, just thinking about it, I think there's some nuance here within uh, security that's not often talked about. You know, some people might say, can't traditional security controls manage IoT devices? Um, that is the perception within the industry, um, but not really. Uh, in our experience, traditional security controls are typically not enough for IoT devices. Oftentimes, these devices have limited resources in terms of memory, in terms of processing or power. And it, that makes it difficult for them to be managed like your regular IT systems, you know, your computers, your servers and so on. So that means that keeping those devices patched against the latest security risks can be difficult for uh, organizations. And this results then in IoT devices frequently running outdated software and it means that more importantly, they're not visible to IT teams, which makes it difficult for uh, those organizations to monitor using standard IT security tools. And they become an easy target then for attackers. In particular, having visibility of what is happening within the network enables organizations to react quickly to any indicators of compromise, whether that's you know spikes in traffic or um, attempts to access uh, unauthorized destinations. So, you know, from our perspective, you can't protect what you can't see or you don't know. Um, so having real-time visibility and control of what is happening in the IoT network is critical. And doing this within the cellular network ensures that you have a, a zero-touch approach to not just the, the new devices that are being deployed uh, globally, but also to the many billions, as I suggested, devices that are already deployed, ensuring that 
you know, whether it's a sensor or a tablet or an edge gateway, they can be instantly protected. And automating security controls within the cellular network ensures that, more importantly, even compromised devices are rendered useless to cyber criminals. Okay, great. So, I mean, we've got to the crux of the problem here. We quick, quick fired our way there, let's say. Um, but uh, finally, you know, what are some some of the best practices that we can uh, look at in terms of an implementation or operational point of view? Well, as I think you mentioned at the start, um, we'll go into a lot more detail uh, on October the 14th in the webinar, but key to all of this is embedding security by design, ensuring that you have continuous monitoring of the network and all of the devices within your network, and you automate the security response across that network, which is critical. All of this ensures compliance with the ever-growing regulations, um, and when it's done right, IoT security stops being reactive and instead becomes a cornerstone of resilience and growth for every organization. Okay, great stuff. Thank you so much, Paul, for uh, for your insights and joining me today. Um, and just a, a reminder, everyone, we will be going into the topic uh, topics that we covered today into much more detail in in a webinar during October. There is a link in the description of this video for you to find out more and register. And uh, yeah, there will be looking into how enterprises can build secure and scalable IoT operations and solutions. So we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you very much. Thank you.